I just want you to pull to your forehead. That probably tip. Heads up, Mike. Heads up. Bleed. <laughs> Alan said it's so casual. <laughs> We're okay! We're here with Bianca. I explained to the world who she is. My close-knit, weird art world that our friends become family. This is my best friend's little sister for, shit, I don't know, 20 years or something stupid. <laughs> but, she lifted some weights with me about eight years ago, and then now she's off doing artsy things by herself, and is gonna power lift. Yeah, my first meet, November 11th. You're actually almost exactly 11 weeks out. So what questions do you have for me? What's crossing your mind? Okay. Um, if I have already signed up for my weight class, yeah, yeah. if that changes, what happens? Uh, at a normal meet, like a local meet like that, normally they're cool and just you'll weigh in heavier and they'll mark you down fine and dandy. As you start to go up the ladder and you go to a national meet or a more competitive meet, uh, sometimes they um, won't allow you to compete. Um, but for this one, you should be fine. Um, most smaller meets, and, and when I say smaller meets, 95% of meets are smaller meets. Uh, powerlifting isn't that legitimate yet. There's yeah. only, shit, in America, maybe, I guess really one meet <laughs> that's like a real meet, uh, USAPL Nationals or invite-only meets. Um, and then they'll really want you to hit that class because they'll have often a certain amount of number of people in that class. Right. Does that make sense? But for your meet, it's probably just by the amount of uh, people in that day, so you should be fine. So, eat your hamburgers and go up a weight class. Well, yeah, I mean, I'm working my way up to 125. Got oh, super heavies. <laughs> All the steroids and hamburgers. <laughs> That's another question. Should I be taking other supplements other than protein? No. Okay. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Um, especially uh, just in general, you know, like you could take general health things if you wanted. Yeah. Um, multivitamin, fish oil, whatever it is that you think helps you, but uh, the only thing that I would say changes in life or training when going towards a meet is now you have a goal. Mm -hmm. and so you have a certain amount of weeks to work towards that goal. And uh, we already talked off camera, but you have someone helping you with some programming. Um, and that's the only really thing that changes is the type of programming to prepare you for that day. Yeah. Um, otherwise, I literally wouldn't change a thing. Um, if you want to get more serious about it, you can start to take away um, extracurricular activities like hiking or bike riding and stuff. The closer you get to a meet, just so your body can be more um, prepared and repaired uh, to portray your strength. Um, but whatever you're doing right now, do it. Uh, and then the other thing kind of in that world is don't try anything weird or new. And that's supplements or um, stuff. You know, if you are if you are taking a meet seriously, you signed up, you put some money down, yeah. um, you want to do the best you can. So don't all of a sudden start to bike ride 10 miles a week. Right. If you've been doing it, fine. Um, but one chance of injury goes up because lifting is going to get harder. Mm -hmm. um, and then two, you take away the chance of doing your best at the meet. So if my like squat is out 205 right now, what should I have like a goal in mind or like is it feasible to try and squat twice my body weight 11 weeks out? Or is I, I think uh, for you, uh, it definitely is. And it will depend on um, like training age. And although you've lifted um, on and off for eight years, it hasn't been consistent eight yeah. years. So like your strength still has, you still have a high ceiling. Um, and so for you, I think that's a, probably a pretty decent goal. Um, and then just know that with the goals of of lifting a weight in general, so say you want to squat 240, right. you squat 205 fairly easy today. Um, with no belt and no knee sleeves and no formal training. Yeah. Um, 240 in 11 weeks or something, I think is possible, but you have to know that now on meet day, there's different things that happen. Right. Uh, there's timing of your warm ups. Uh, once they call your name, you have two minutes to go on the platform and do your squat. Uh, there's commands. Uh, so they're gonna have to say like, uh, okay, you, you walk the weight back and you have to stand there until they say squat. And then you have to come up and hold it until they say rack. Um, and little things like that don't seem like a lot, but sometimes they can take pounds off of your max yeah. uh, just because it's a slower process and you're not used to it. Your nerves, 
play a role. Um, and you text me a question. I wish I remember exactly how you phrased it because it was awesome. Um, something about as if you can evolve into Brock Dwayne, Dwayne Johnson like a Pokemon would evolve yeah. on game day. Uh, and some people, <laughs> <laughs> some like people. Po like Pikachu to yeah. Raichu, can that happen? You might be able to do that on game day, but I feel like some of that is uh, very, not genetic, but person by person where some people do have another gear they can shift into and those nerves will get them stronger yeah. um, but then some people sadly are the opposite and those nerves really put a break on them so you know if you squat a 205 and then you're a nervous person I call them a gamer uh, if you're okay. a gamer you might be able to just show up right now and squat 240 because you're so hyped to perform yeah um, where some people shy away from the limelight and maybe you could squat 205 or 240 any day with me and Connor here but when it's with a judge and a crowd then you squat 180 yeah so um, I do think there's some evolving um, what is it, candy? For uh, Pokemon? Yeah, there's candy, right? Yeah, I think you get some candy. It was called like something candy. Uh, yeah, and it'll boost you up a level. These guys are gonna talk so much shit. Like, Mike, you say you're a gamer <laughs> and you don't even remember the fucking name. Like, dude, I played Pokemon literally when it came out in like 1995. I, I played one version since, but not that hardcore. But I think you get like some kind of candy and it ups you a level. So some people do have that candy. Um, and then some people don't so I wouldn't rely on it But I do think for you a 230 or 240 squat mm -hmm. uh, game day would be good and then uh, bench you have to pause um, yeah. And so you bench 125 today uh, touch and go uh, so you'll want to practice the pause obviously But I think if you bench 125 to 135 with the pause is a good goal um, And then I didn't see you deadlift heavy, but with your new form. I think you hit a good deadlift in. Yeah, the form felt way way better um, I think I'm trying to think what else. You have to get a singlet. What's what? Yeah, you gotta wear a onesie. Oh jeez. Where do I get one of those? Uh, so there's a lot of websites. I would do Amazon. Okay. Uh, you're never gonna look good in it, so. Okay. I know everyone gets like, oh, I don't wanna compete because of the singlet. Like, no one fucking looks good in a singlet. I think I'm gonna look great in Okay, it. you'll look great in it. Some people look good in singlet. I'm gonna look totally good. You have to be a uh, layer wheel. That kind of looks good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, if you're the one person that's built like fucking Superman, you'll look awesome in a singlet. For the rest of us. <laughs> Maybe not. I got the Oakland face and the LA booty. <laughs> You're prepared? <laughs> Fully prepared for action? I don't feel like it. I no, feel you like won't a be. complete amateur. Uh, you'll never, um, you know, that's like everything though, right? Like the first uh, art class you went to yeah. or the first master's class you went to, you were confused and felt like, how am I ever going to understand any of this? And then you yeah. just do it for two or three more years and then you get a hold of it. Right. Same thing with the new job. You show up like, fuck, dude, I have no clue what I'm doing here then three months into it, you're into it. So it's kind of just like the same with powerlifting. The more meets you go to as a spectator, a coach, or a lifter, mm -hmm. uh, the more you'll get a handle of the flow, uh, the more you start powerlifting, you know, and we're talking years, right? Yeah. Whatever 10,000 hour rule to become an expert, uh, just time after time, rep after rep, you'll be a pro. You'll be nervous, e even. I'm nervous yeah, already. Yeah, that's good. Like, it means you're alive. I know. It means you care. Most of the time is if you show up and can do your best, It'll obviously put you in the best position to yeah. do your best, right? Uh, talking golf, is Tiger Woods worried about, I mean, Tiger Woods isn't worried about much because his ding -a on the internet right now, but <laughs> besides that, they're not showing up really thinking like, I gotta beat him. They just gotta think, I gotta get my lowest score I can get, yeah. and then you end up winning, right? So it's kind of the same with powerlifting. If you lift the most amount of weight that you can on that day and kind of stay in your zone, mm -hmm. You get the best chance to win. But we could get your followers right now if you want. The occasional hot dog selfie and... Hot dog selfie? What the hell does that mean? I just, Pervert? I'm like holding a hot dog or there's a hot dog like in my hand. That one's new too, I haven't seen You're that. about to get a million followers yeah. right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's Costco hot dogs, art, and selfies. Some dog pics here and there, maybe some food. Ladies and gentlemen, some quick info that runs through the mind of a newbie <laughs> power lifter. A little bit of training footage, appreciate you guys. We're gonna go eat. Connor may film that, he may not. This may be a video, it may not. Who the fuck knows? If you wanna follow Bianca, my little sister, watch it, you little perverts. We'll see you guys later. Bye.